FlippingDice.com. Amazing, amazing stuff. Check out FlippingDice.com. We've got more right now here on the World Famous Cheeky Jaguar radio program. We've got uh, Greg Phillips with us today here on the broadcast, and uh, he has a fantastic, fantastic award-winning program. It's called Not a Target Bully Program. It's presented at schools around the country, Central and South America. Greg has spent 12 years on the air as a morning show host and is a fun, fun interview so far. Now, you said earlier that you were going... <laughs> I, I I joked about this at the beginning of the program today, about the fact that I don't know how the heck we were going to do magic with with you being on the phone and us being on the radio. However, <laughs> you apparently have come up with something. So so let's let us let us jump off the good foot and do the bad thing, my friend. Okay, here we go. Now in your studio, I know that there must be a clock. Yes. Simply. Uh, with, the, with the numbers from 1 to 12, starting with 1, ending with 12 at the top. If you don't have a clock, I know it's a little old-fashioned for some folks. On a piece of paper, on your desk, just draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. 12 at the top, 6 at the bottom, 3 on the right, 9 on the side, for those that live in Hutchinson. Now, here's what we're going to do. You are right. <laughs> as, you're, as you're looking at your clock, you filled all the numbers in. I want you to think of any number from 1 to 12, which appears on the face. James, have you done that? Yes. You're thinking of one number. Don't tell me what it is. Have you thought of one? Yes. Good. Okay. Now, put your fingertip right at the top on number 12. We're going to make three moves to arrive at a random number. And here's what you're going to do. You're going to spell the number that you thought of, 1 through 12, making one move clockwise around the circle for every letter. In other words, if you thought of 1 starting at 12, you would move your finger to the 1, the 2, you'd then be on the 3. Okay? That's our example. You know what your number is. Go ahead, do that now, spelling your particular number, the number that you thought of. And okay. tell me when you get to a new number. Okay. Are you there? Yes, I have spelled the... Your finger's on a new number, correct? Yes. Good. I want you to spell the new number, continuing to move around the circle in the same direction, making your first move on the first letter. You're going to reach another number. Have you done that? Yes. Excellent. One last time. Remember I said three moves. I want you to spell the new number that you're on, continuing around the circle. Let me know when you're there. Okay, we're there. Okay, you've made a random choice. You moved twice from the random choice, so it might surprise you to find out that I believe, through your movements, you have arrived at 1 o'clock. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, that's the way it is. You're there, and I hope, Everybody's there, including the folks in Hutchinson. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely amazing. We've got Greg Phillips with us today, joining us on the telephone. He is a fantastic, fantastic guest. That that proved it right there, my man. <laughs> that proved <laughs> well, well, wait, it right wait, wait. there. Have people now? People should run to their drawers. Have people run to their kitchen drawers. Open their kitchen drawers, quick, 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 quick. I have just made the spoons and the forks. In your drawers, bend with my mind. <laughs> <laughs> that is Sorry. awesome. Flashback, now, flashback. Hey, Gary Geller. Now, <laughs> now um, Greg, you, you've got uh, a, a great story. T tell us a little bit about this group of teenagers attempting to uh, mug David Copperfield, who, were, who thwarted them by using uh, sleight of hand to give the impression that his pockets were empty. Have you... Have you done skills like this? Have you ever proven skills like this to be useful in the real world? Well, a lot of folks have heard the Copperfield story. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. Okay. David was mugged after a show one time. Yep. And he was able to get out of the mugging by using some magician-type moves to hide his wallet and other valuables. And so they really didn't get anything, and then security from the theater came out and were able to help. One time I was in a country called Guatemala, in a city called Guatemala City, because it's in Guatemala, 
and I had a group of kids come up, I should say uh, young people that were wandering around, and I was with a group of teenagers myself. We had walked into a tandy to get a soda, and these kids, ne'er-do-wells, looked a little nefarious, walked up and they tried to rob us, indicating that they had knives with them and weapons. And So what I did was I kind of shuttled my kids off out the door as I entertained with some close-up magic. I took the change that the guy had given me from the counter. I had pretended to put it into one hand and hand it to the crooks, when in reality I saved it in the other hand, palming. When they were blown away by that because they thought I had given it to them, they started to laugh. As they started fist bumping and high-fiving each other because it was weird, I gave them what little change I had in my hand, and we ran out the door like crazy. So yeah, it works, it works for everybody. <laughs> it works for everybody. Press the digitation. Keep yourself safe. <laughs> well, there you go. Now, um, where where are you going to be performing um, in, in any time soon? Do you have do you have a schedule up on the website or? Um, yes and no. The, the December the December deal is pretty well locked. And to be perfectly honest, this coming weekend, I will be in the Duval County Correctional Facility speaking to juvenile inmates. That's and awesome. That's awesome. We'll be taking the program with us there. And then next weekend, we're in the Orange County Jail doing the same thing. Um, December's a tough period for young people that are locked up. People think that juvenile detention centers are country clubs. In many cases, they're just prisons for kids. And so anytime I can go in and take a good message, give them good choices to make, that's what we try to do. That's awesome. That's, that's so, really good stuff, as as man. public shows, we will be back in the public beginning of the year back on the road um i am not scheduled for kansas yet i'm hoping to be there maybe the folks from hutchinson will let me come and play their elementary schools definitely the program's called not a target.com and we really try to make a life uh, difference in the lives of the kids well uh i've i've got some folks i'll put you in touch with my friend um when you get a chance send me an That's email great. And I'll uh, I'll put you in touch with some good with some with some good folks here that I would love to get you connected with, um, that that would love to bring that show to town. I, I appreciate you being with us today, my friend. Thanks for coming on. Uh, thank you for taking the time, James. Have a great, wonderful day. Definitely. Have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks, Greg. We've got a great guest. Uh, actually, we've got uh, Ben Barrick coming.